Hey, what's up everyone? This is Anthony from Anthony's Customs, and for this review, we're doing another viewer requested figure, which is the Marvel Legends Build-A-Figure Apocalypse. Easily my favorite Apocalypse figure by far. Can't beat it. I mean, we've only had two, and the other one's kind of a short, fat one, so this is an easy win, but still pretty darn good. There is a black version where all of these blue parts are black, and I think this part here is black also. I don't have that variant of him, unfortunately. However, it's the same exact figure other than the blue being black. So, you're not really missing out on me not having it. Uh, this guy stands. There's 12 inches to the top of his collar thingy, and then another 2 and a quarter inches. So that's 14 and a quarter inches tall. Big Build-A-Figure. Man, I miss these big Build-A-Figures. Be nice to get some new big Build-A-Figures, but I don't think that's going to happen. Hope it does, though. Uh, very nice paint job on this guy. You can see there's tons of shading throughout the blue parts looks really good the metallic blue this one's a little bit beat up and a lot of them tended to have a beat up quality to them fresh out of the packaging so it's not much you can do to avoid that uh, kinda gives it a battle damage look but the painting paint job that is there is good there's even some really subtle shading on this metallic blue up here there's lots of kinda dry brushing going on over here metallic silver metallic blue other blue Pretty decent paint job. The face has the nice red eyes and then the blue lips and the darker grayish blue hair head piece thing, whatever that is. Then he's got the nice silvery tubers on his back, which are removable and bendable. So that's a good thing. And they have the nice black wash on them to make them stand out. So that's pretty good. As far as articulation goes, the head has a pretty good range of motion up and down, really no problem at all. His chin will bang into that collar piece. What are you going to do though? I mean, you got to have that, so that's the way it goes. But you can see there's nice sculpt work in there with the uh, uh, corrugated, I don't know, it's not corrugated, whatever you want to call that, ribbed neck piece. That's pretty cool. Um, shoulders are kind of limited, but that's only because he's got really big muscles down here and the shoulder pads, but they're not horribly limited. You can still get pretty decent range of motion out of them. No real problem there. Nice ball hinge for the shoulder, bicep swivel, it's a little stiff, but it will work. Single jointed elbow, which doesn't give you the greatest range of motion, so that's a little disappointing. Um, there's no wrist swivel, is there? Yeah, there is, okay. I couldn't remember. So there's a wrist swivel right there, and a wrist hinge, and individually hinged fingers, but what's the point of that? So we're going to keep those in a nice... 